Hello friends, Lee here from Tabletop Bong. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I thought we'd hang out, have a fun sesh, do some sipping and ripping with the Lotus Vaporizer. The Lotus is a really cool manual vape and I uh, I love to, to bring it out and to play around with it. I really enjoy the ritual and the entire uh, aspect of how you use this particular device. It's really easy to become present and to get lost in the moment when you're using the Lotus. So what I've done with my Lotus is I've taken and I've put a black silicone band around the outside edge, just like that. Why did I do that? Well, like I said, we're gonna do some sipping and some ripping. And when I start ripping on this Lotus, I found a way that I can get some really, really crazy crazy thick vapor um, for huge, huge effects. And what does it do? Well, it does heat the Lotus up a little bit by putting that silicone band around there. All of a sudden, it's a whole lot more comfortable to, um, to touch when it's really, really hot. And let's be honest, check out that whole visual with this desktop bong in black and tan. Like that's pretty tough to beat all the way around just from a fashion and aesthetic standpoint, right? I absolutely love the way that looks. <laughs> all right, so let's get in and let's talk about the Lotus a little bit. This is such a fun, fun vaporizer. For those of you who are not familiar with it, you get a water pipe and you get this top component which you put on here and you just heat the top with a flame and that transfers through into the weed. Basically, you know, this is a super simplified explanation but you're gonna see exactly what happens here anyway. But the point is, is you're heating this cap and you can see from the underside there, um, you know, you're drawing the heat that gets stored on the metal. Seems pretty basic and simple, and the thing works like a dream. So uh, let's just go ahead and we'll just have kind of a stock experience the way that they explain that you should use it. Uh, and we'll run it through, like I said, this desktop bong, 250 mil size. Now in the bong today, in this bong, when I'm sipping with the Lotus, I'm using the four hole heady glass stem. I'm also gonna use the new turbo whip hose, which is about to become an option on the website in the next day or two. All right, so let's just turn this a little bit so you can uh, see exactly what I'm doing. So when I'm sipping on it, I'm gonna use a flame like this, which is set to the way that they recommend you set your flame just simply start heating it for a few seconds and then a slow draw and you can just sip away with some really really flavorful terpy little sips and you can you know just sip and sip and sip now, if you draw slower and you apply more heat, obviously you're gonna get a darker roast. So you can really just kind of learn your timing with your, uh, with your bong. And this is really an important thing, my friends. When you're using the Lotus, um, you know, of course you can run it through a J-hook like this, right? And, and use it with your mouth, which is also a very satisfying experience. But when you really wanna get the most out of the Lotus, in my opinion, you need to run it through a, a water piece that you can get back from the glass. And you can use the visual in the bong as you watch it as you know an immediate feedback system letting you know exactly what to do with the torch and when you know exactly what to do and when to do it uh what that does is that really allows you to get the very very most out of the experience without combusting let's go ahead and we'll have another little flavorful sip like that Just using a medium draw speed. And I'm not bringing the heat down too, too far and I'm moving it reasonably quickly so it's not concentrating in any area for any period of time. So that's allowing me to get these really, really flavorful, flavorful 
you know, thinner vapor rips. And you can see as the vapor begins to show itself in the glass, I'm backing off with the torch right at that time, and I'm allowing the residual heat that's in the top to get pulled down and uh, really kind of conclude the draw that way. And now we'll just go ahead and give it a little stir, but I'll let you see as we're doing it this this way, right, we're really going to be able to sip away at this, you know, as m for a number of really, really flavorful, flavorful draws. So what's great with this is it becomes, you know, you can really look at this because it's so easy to get to the vapor right away. You can look at this as a complete on-demand system. So if you're sitting and you're watching a movie and you want to just take a puff or two and then leave it, you can just, you know, put the hose down, put the torch down, continue to watch the movie and pick it back up in a minute. And, and you know, you're right back in where you left off without any wait time, right? Just a three second preheat. And you're right back in getting these tasty tasty rips over and over and over again so as we can see the sipping is so so easy with the lotus it's uh yeah it's uh, really one of the more simplistic torch driven vapes that's for sure the instructions of how to use it are really quite accurate if you just follow the instructions from the manufacturer you'll get sips like that all day long and be a really really flavorful and satisfying experience but <laughs> see i can uh, i can never seem to leave well enough alone when somebody comes up with such a great way to have such tasty flavorful uh you know mid-range rips with the lotus i just don't seem to be able to leave it alone so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this up again, and I'm going to load this uh, water pipe adapter about three quarters full. Uh, I'm running some ultra sour in here today. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just load this up loose pack, not tight pack. Uh, and just... I'm going to pack it like that, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these well i'm gonna take this is a three millimeter yeah can we get it uh, no that's a four millimeter borosilicate terp pearl i'm gonna take three of them and i'm gonna drop them in on top like this i'm not sure if we'll get that without pouring it out okay so i got three in there i just kind of stacked one up there all i'm doing is i'm just putting three on the surface level after it's three quarter packed and then i'm gonna replace the top nope it's not what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this back out for a second because here's what i'm gonna do because i'm gonna i'm gonna throw a lot of heat at this very very quickly i need to move that heat a little bit faster than i'm gonna do with this four hole stem so i'm gonna remove the four hole stem from this desktop bong and i'm gonna grab a seven hole and I'm gonna drop it in place instead because it will allow me to move just a little bit more volume of vapor a little bit faster when I need to, if I need to. And the goal here is I'm gonna put a lot of heat into the Lotus. 
I'm going to use those turp pearls as a way to sort of diffuse some of the heat so we don't overheat the weed too fast. And those turp pearls will hold some of that heat in there, bringing us, you know, back to vaporization faster. But it kind of really makes this very, very forgivable with a lot of heat for really, really thick, thick rips. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So now I'm not going to use the same torch this time. This time I'm going to grab something with a bit bigger of a flame. Not crazy, this is still a single flame torch, um, you know, and it's a very pinpointed flame, but it's a little bit bigger and a little bit hotter, which is exactly what I want because I'm going to be pouring more heat to it and I'm going to be ripping on the bong just a little bit harder. And then we're going to get a whole different experience and you're going to see how much more this gets clouded up. And you'll see my timing when I see the cloud really starting to form in the bong, I'm going to get off the heat and uh, we're going to get these crazy, crazy fat big rips off it. Cheers. Yeah, we can start to push on the Lotus just a little bit harder, right? Now it's completely heated up. Let's get right in and have another one of those big fat rips right on the back end of this. Cheers. <laughs> you can get some <coughs> big, <coughs> big rips. <coughs> you can see what's happening in there, right? You can see how those turp pearls are diffusing that heat. <coughs> what the turp pearls are, absolutely no need to stir it at all because they're holding, uh, holding and diffusing heat. So you're not getting a scorch on the top that you need to kind of stir in. It's really giving you a very, very even heat all the way around. And I will tell you what, that hits so, so much harder when you get into these higher temperatures. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll hit this probably one more real good one before we're done with it. And I'll show you what it looks like after it's been baked. <laughs> Cheers. And you can see there what I was doing is I was bringing the flame a little bit closer <coughs> before vapor production to throw more heat into it. And then when the vapor production began, I was lifting the heat away. We're going to do it again in just a second and I'm going to show you. Uh, but let me show you exactly what it looks like coming out of... Uh, I'll just get rid of the... Just empty that off so I can show you exactly what this looks like coming out of here after those few big rips without stirring it and the turp pearls on top this is what we end up left with having baked all right so you can see <coughs> very evenly vaped um yeah it, it works like a dream throwing those turp pearls in on top Four mil seems to be about the right size. It's not eating up too, too much space, but it still, you know, creates a, a relatively even layer um, across the top of the, the weed. So that seems to work really, really well when you're doing this. And like you can see there, I'm just handling those turp pearls this quickly. They're not so hot. Uh, you know, they hold the heat, uh, they take it in quickly, they hold it for a brief period of time, and then they start to release it. So, um, you know, it just seems to, to work really perfectly in this situation when you want to kind of push your luck and get bigger, bigger clouds. So now if I really wanted to push my luck on this for a super big rip, what I would do is I would uh, put a little more effort into preheating it. 
and then do a slower draw, uh, bringing the heat in a little bit closer, and then follow it up with taking a, like, you know, switching from a slow draw to a big draw in the end. So let's just give that a go and see what happens. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, wow. <coughs> yeah, you can definitely get there <coughs> with the Lotus. Whoa. Don't want to drop that turper. I'll show you. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you can get those nice big one and done rips. If you heat it just right. So it's right here that we just made. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's kind of the trick to it and it all comes down to timing if you want to thicken up the vapor a little bit slow your draw down if you want to uh, <coughs> if, if it looks like you're getting too close like too thick a vapor you either have to take it right away and stop or you can try if you're not really close to combusting yet you can try just speeding your draw up and cooling everything down a little bit sometimes that can push you over the edge of combusting if you're too close though so that's one of those ones that with a little bit of experience you'll get used to uh, and you'll know the difference very very quickly but i'm loving the lotus i've been using it uh you know quite often actually uh for different times when i want to just kind of check out and it's not necessarily about getting as blasted as possible but it's about actually using the experience to just kind of slow down uh you know and to <clears throat> sometimes you need to to just like catch your breath right when you're running and it, everything feels chaotic and you're in that space right because you're really busy and stuff sometimes you need to go oh i'm gonna just slow down sit down for 10 minutes catch my breath right this is when the Lotus for me, the Lotus and the BAP man are two that are really great for, for that thing to pull you out of that spin and into the ritual and the experience of using it, right? And it's a very nice tactile experience with the wood. And yeah, so, uh, you know, that's really where I'm finding the Lotus is coming into play uh, for me quite often. Uh, <laughs> and, and the busier I get, it seems like the more often I need that slowdown <laughs> and I'm reaching for it. So, uh, yeah. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. If you have a Lotus, give some of those things a try and, and see how it works for you. I think you'll enjoy the fact uh, that you can use it in so many different ways. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, take care.